Welcome to the March 13th meeting for the CFC, Citizen Resident Council. Uh, we'll get started and I'll call the meeting to order. So we have worked on our agenda of public comment. Speaking of public comment. Seeing none, uh, we'll continue. Uh, CFC uh, business, approval of February 2023 minutes. Sure. We have a motion for approval. A second. All in favor? Everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Unanimous. All right. Excellent. All voters agree. All right. So we we'll want to our first uh, portion of work session. Uh, presentation from SCPA staff. Dr. So Marco will share with us uh, some wonderful tidbits. Well, I think screen is going to kick us off. Okay. That's a cool view. I love that logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. much better. When I saw that, I was like, yeah. 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 So we're going to talk about the policy review process. Ms. Cannon, um, our legal counsel, had come in and talked with us about um, some processes about looking at policies and possibly starting with the 500 seats. So we want to go ahead and just do a brief review. This is the policy format. Some of our policies have the expectation is to have them reviewed every three or so years. Um, we have some policy that have not been in that review process. So they've gotten bumped because of other um, items that were more immediate need due to COMAR regulations or policy or new laws, different things that uh, raise some of those policies up front, so the 500 series are somewhat behind right now. So when we look at a policy, please, this is the policy format that is the new format that the prior CAC had set up and requested that all of our policies would be um, aligned with. And you were given a paper that has Color on one side, this is the diagram on the other side. This is the policy revision um, consideration. So, when we look at a policy, we would have to complete this form for the policy to be considered under revision from CAC. So, this is our paperwork and our form that we're going to use. We want to first list the policy number that we're looking at, and if there's a associated regulation. Again, remember the policy is the broad part from the board, the regulation, and is the implementation from the superintendent. The, we want to explain what's our box. Yeah. yeah. So related regulations, that could be plural, right? Would there possibly be multiple related? There could be yeah. multiple. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So when we're looking at the policy, we want to explain what's our reason. Why are we looking at this policy? What's our that's leading to the request of the policy change or the revision? It could just be that it hasn't been reviewed since 2009, 2010. What it could be that there was something that sparked it that again caused our reason to look at it for a implementation. We want to note. Some of the reasons, possible reasons for making the change, what are we looking at? How is it related to SCPS or to <coughs> CAC? And include, we don't want to change this wording right here, but what's our intent? What is the reason why we're looking at this policy? When we're looking at the policy, then we want to look at backup information. So we want to add if we have any support for this change. Did we do any research? Did we find out that other counties have something similar and this is their wording or this is what they use? Are there COMAR regulations? Are there um, staff responses to questions? So did whatever the supports are for the reason for the change. And then we want to look at, or then we're going to provide it to Mr. Jim. We're going to talk about it here in committee first. So what we're imagining is a small group is going to look at certain policies individually. 
So two or three people together to look at some policies, do some background and some research, bring it back to CAC, and talk about why the changes and go through this form completed so that we're all in agreement. Then we provide it to Mr. J, our liaison to the board. And um, he'll note any comments on this form. And then we also list who the subcommittee members are, who are the people that are charged to look at this form and to look at the policy. Then this is the process. So I want to explain what the process is. So once this form is completed and we all agree, then it moves on, we present it to Mr. Jeff. And then he has to have three board members that are needed to approve the concern for policy change. And if um, the change is only for regulation, which we normally won't want that, but if it is, then that would go to the superintendent to review or the legal counsel to present it to the superintendent for the hearing. But again, that's Mr. J's job. So we all do that. That's what we do. If he gets three board members to agree that this is something to look at to go to policy, then that's the next step. It would be added to an agenda or a policy committee review. He does it, then that's that yellow box where it says, you would, you would bring it back here and we discuss what that happens. So possibly what, what's next, what can we do? If we continue and have made it to the policy chain to the policy committee, they would discuss the change during their committee meeting. If by majority vote they agree to make some changes, maybe not exactly ours. To have additional wording that they add, additional research that's done, the top of additional staff or different things, but then they'll bring it to the full board. So then the full board, and that's the next step for making a policy change within the school system. The full board has to discuss it, review the intent and the impact of that policy change and see if it's warranted. If there are more questions, then the board could send it back to the policy committee to clarify those questions. And talk about next steps, and then again it goes back in the loop. It would go back to policy committee, and then back to the If there is majority approval from the board, then it goes back to the board for a second reading, most times for a final vote, and then it goes from there so for that change to be implemented. If I could, please. So um, this is first of all, this is wonderful. Thank you. Uh, so after the. Um, if it goes, if I, if I can get three members of the board to agree with that, it can go towards a policy committee. What happens is at that point, um, as a committee, you guys will begin to advocate for it. So if something that, that, that um, actually makes policy committee, do they have to do it at 2 in the morning? Yes. Yeah. Today. Board meetings look easier to get to, we're in the evening. But once it makes that policy committee, you can actually, when they do public comments, you can show up as a public commenter and speak for the policy. And it, it goes, it, it, it does go a long way. So, you know, she, she what had, type of meeting is that? Uh, policy, policy meeting. It's at 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, but also, that's, that's, that's the first meeting it, it, it hits when it hits policy. If it passes policy and gets to the board, you can speak at the board meeting as well. But like, it's once it starts going into the process, it's good to advocate for it and, and, and speak to the wise and it should be reviewed. Yes, Who's on the policy committee? Is that like a uh, like representation this? of the board? Yeah, right okay. now I believe it's Gallagher and it's Ray Gallagher. Dean Rose. Dean Rose. Dean's a positive. Mm -hmm. And David Beck, along yes. with legal counsel. Yes. The new lead policy. So, we'll, Mr. J and I will keep you updated if it were to go to policy committee. And if there's someone available to provide a public comment, then many times, um, the leadership of CAC could write up that public comment and someone just reads it on yeah. behalf of CAC and does the public comment. If no one's available, you can also email it in, but of course, being there and present and your voice is always um, to make it a clear. Yeah. So the three board members needed to approve the review of the concern would have to be separate from the three that are on the policy committee? No, or? they have to be separate, but it has to be busy. That, that comes down to my market. It was somebody who actually is, is a amenable, has good teamwork spirit, has a good, you know, you know relationship with, with his peers, to talk to them, try to get them to, <laughs> to, to agree. But I think anything you bring forward would be highly considered. 
Um, actually, this is, a, this is an idea that started with um, the board president. I think that, that that's uh, possibly one you may have. So, for two, for two. How about you guys? So, so it's pretty easy to uh, I could probably find one person there. Because the thing is, it's about discussion. Because the board's pretty meaningful to discuss things. I mean, it doesn't mean you'll, you'll get anywhere, but having a couple discussions is a good thing. So, it's possible. But it could be one of the official policy board members in that initial grade. That's it could fine. be, yeah. Okay. It's basically who I can get a hold of and who will hear me out. Okay. But the, the three member, three board member threshold is just for policy, correct? Not for resolution. Anything you want to go for anything? Yeah. Okay. If, 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 I, if, I, if I were to like, you know, plant more trees, I can get two people to agree with me that we talk about it, it will go anywhere. Then would it go to like a board of that meeting? Like After it makes its way through policy. Okay. And I don't know how, how, how it moves. And then I, would, I was advised to tell you that policy is now, um, they are, so the new leadership, I mean, the way is raised now chair. So the new leadership, they are looking to, uh, one of the board goals from the uh, retreat was to enhance our, so this was 2009, 2009. And so the board is committed to uh, getting that better process a little bit faster. So there are things that actually are already on document to be reviewed that weren't reviewed before. So we're going to pause that it has like a, um, there'll be a priority list. So we could be like in the queue. So that we actually submit the policy, it's, it's on the, it's on the uh, approval list. Why was this talked about yet? Because it's in the queue. So if we get a real hot one, it may jump, jump, jump the ladder, but there's, there's a queue. So you may not see it for a few months. It depends on, on what's, what's happening. I think that's the question, how far back is the queue? So since you said there's no change since well, 2009. Right now, it depends on, on progress. We can look at it, we're looking at it different policies. I, I couldn't tell you which one's up next. But basically, whatever we feel we recommend based on what's already on docket. Like, first, is a hot button be now with um, Blueprint law coming around. Right. Anything that pulls Blueprint into, into effect with potential for Blueprint, that's when I jumped up the bar. That's why I'll pick it to her. We have policy that go for it to back in 2009. We have some in seven. Okay, so mm -hmm. so, so we do. We have some really old policy. I believe that so we should have worked to accelerate the review and updating, and that's where the CAC comes in is really building the capacity to accelerate the revisions of policy. So then we, I put this, I'll ask this question. Um, when do you have when you actually see those? So that we can I think we're going to start having a conversation this evening and it set you free to go look at ones that you feel are high priority and relevant that we get in front of the board sooner rather than later. And the other thing with that is the capture for me would be the different segments and pages are still relevant now. And you could come back to the policy committee and say this one's no longer relevant. We just need to get rid of it, which would be a recommendation. Yeah. Could be a recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. Like you say that all pay phones will, will be sanitized now. Yeah. Yeah. So it was will be reviewed for and all of these all the seventies real real, bro. Be round before the meeting. All the kind of rewind policies. So what we thought of doing next. So are there any additional questions? Okay. So you also have in front of you should have in front of you policy five or policy five oh three character education. And this one's near and dear to my heart for a couple reasons. That's why I brought it forward in nineteen ninety seven. I was one of the first in my third year as chair to train on character education development. And then as well, my father was one of the pivotal leaders to bring character in seven as his role as assistant superintendent. So this is an old policy, but it certainly still has relevance. If you walk into our schools, you'll often see the six colors of character counts that you see in front of you. And then if you flip to the companion of it, 503 and two, the other side, you're gonna see where the policy speaks to life and, and career skill development. And as you look through this, you're going to see some things that may need to be wordsmith. 
we may need to enhance, such as responsible use of social media. When I looked through this, I didn't see it anywhere. Multi multi-culture, we look better flexibility and adaptability. We don't use that word as much. We probably use diverse environments. So there's just some wording changes that as you dug into this, you may say, you know what? We need to look at this a little more. I look at executive functioning because that's something that we're seeing as a critical need for our youngsters today coming out of COVID. A lot of them have difficulties with or have had difficulties coming back into a school environment and getting accustomed to the structures and routines and the responsibilities of just sitting in your chair for a 45, 50 minute period. So that may be something else that, that you want to bring into it. So what you would do is this would be an example. You would take this and I believe you were looking to break out into smaller groups moving forward. Sabrina, is that correct? And when we would break out into smaller groups, we would then locate the the policy in the 500 series that they feel needs some revision or a recommendation, and then you would work through uh, this sheet in your smaller group in order to analyze it, dissect it, and, and just see what recommendations we need moving forward. So that's just a really quick example. Sabrina, did I miss anything? I don't believe so. But as you can see, you know, it's not set up in the format. So we'd have to look at policy statements of purpose, definitions, and then move into the concept. So that would be some of the suggestions, along with, I know on this policy down on the bottom, I have a few asterisks. So those would be some of possibly the, the references, the legal references or the references about the policy that we want to have included again in our content area and background information might be helpful. To have some of that in there. So we, it looks like there are one, two, three, five policies in the 500 series that are 2009, 2008. So they can get to the policies right online, right? Mm -hmm. the policy. Yes. So you should be able to get to the actual. Show yeah, show them. Okay, thank you. So you have to at your fingertips. Sure. And I will share what she's doing that, that I'm a great big fan of as well. I just told my daughter that when she was in our up school, I'd rather her get a Christmas award than an A. Important to get this award than an A. And she, she, she brought one home actually. And actually, I got one. I got an award. Um, it was an eight character award. So I was still very, very uh, honored by that award. It was very, well, very good. The, the policy that you excuse me, really brings a common language to a school district in that okay you're hearing about these six pillars in elementary middle and high school you're understanding the importance and it's woven into the code of conduct and the students start to know what behaviors are expected of them and it it translates through all three grade levels for all you know elementary middle and high school so it gives teachers and educators and parents and students the common language to to create the expectations for for not only a strong learning environment, but we're not. Mm -hmm. These are things that they can speak to. It's kind of lost its energy over the years. I don't know why, because mm -hmm. these, these seem so absent in our society right now that it, it would really be a good time to, to bring them back and say, this is what we're about. This is what we want to see in our adults, and this is what we want to see in our students. Oh, okay. this is a good reliable. Absolutely. This is a wonderful uh, It makes sense because. Just put 33 kids in college this week. 33? 33. 30 scholarships. And certainly was the character. And certainly was that they have to resonate. Wow, resonate. Certainly was how who are these kids? How will they resonate that they learn from school to the college curriculum? Mm -hmm. Same time as when you go to the county. Character was everything. Each one of the kids had to have four levels of recommendation. And speak to specifically to the character, it's not in reference to what they learned their academics, it was in reference to their character. Um, selfless service. Uh, my son was one of them, he just got accepted into four universities. It's all D1 and D1 football this year for number 18 in the age. But the beautiful part about that was this he works at what is a retirement home here. Three of his letters of recommendation came from residents from the retirement. We really 
patients from outside from school sources and counselors. They, they didn't help, they, they got those, but the ones they used were the ones from retirement home because they wanted to know how he responded to not only the elderly, excuse the concept, but just people in general. And the letters that they wrote were so touching that the provost at the school called the house and actually said thank you for the, the letters of recognition. And they actually sent a letter to the retirement home just to thank him and the person that they wrote it because they spoke to his character, they spoke to his heart, they spoke to the level of leadership and followership that he had. This is the thing. Of those 33 kids, each one of those kids had a life story. That's what got them in school. So, so yeah. that's always something we should definitely go back and forth on. Right. And I agree with you. Uh, it hasn't done enough. It's, it's kind of faded back to the next stage. Yeah. Well, sure. And I was going to ask you about that. Do you think it's because of the past, like, not saying anything bad about the past program, but do you think, like, that cell curriculum has kind of taken the forefront away from character count? Maybe a piece of it. Yeah. I've heard as a parent, I hear a lot, like, I know about character counts from being a product for the kind of public school. But honestly, as a parent, I hear more about cell and paths. So I'm just wondering if we need to kind of like reinvigorate that a little bit. And it's also the nature of education. Things yeah. come and seem to reappear and they come and reappear again. And, you know, this, from my perspective, is just something really good to have. Yeah. And I think it can be aligned. I'm just wondering if, um, the attention has come off of it a little bit and been yeah, replaced with other things, things that it could just be that we need to align character counts curriculum with the past or, or embed them in the past program yeah. where you know cell is social emotional learning so in our past curriculum is, is strong at the elementary level probably needs a lot more work at the secondary level and it's something that we've been trying to move into our curriculum hopes of developing a whole child. But I agree with you, character education, character development would certainly use itself well into the, the social issue. Sure. Mm -hmm. I got instead of going to the campaign. You know what I did on the marketing campaign for the rest of the school. You can do a small snippet, get teachers here, correct? The faculty member here. You can have them do a small snippet of character of the youth who can be Touch the elementary, middle school, and high school. Something that affects the show board members in here, along with the faculty, right? So it's a united front to include parents. Sure. Yeah. We're talking about the character of the child because as kids see a thing, they believe one thing, they start to act on it. Because what's been happening lately, you know, if we honestly uh, take a solid assessment of things, it's what they've been exposed to. Uh, their behavior is based on what they've been exposed to. So if you reintroduced marketing campaign reference character, teach them about the value of their work, their actions. Right, yeah, I've, I've had kids in Frederick County Public Schools for nine years, and I have one at each level right now, elementary, middle, and high school, and I would say that I more see character recognition happening, but there's not education of character happening. Okay. Well, that's pretty, you can look at it pretty ask them to be put into the adults. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's called character education, but the only thing I've witnessed is recognition, like the character counts, come to yeah, your uh, and you're know. responsible. And then kids mm -hmm. kids feel bad because they didn't get it that year because only 12 kids can get it. And then mm -hmm. parents are upset because, well, like you're saying that some kids have good character and some kids don't, like that's, that's shameful. And so it, I think, I don't think, I think everyone thinks it's important, but it education isn't happening. Some kids are getting recognized and then other kids are feeling bad and parents are getting upset constantly. So it's sort of like a big hoopla. And then on top of it, it makes it's hard because you get recognized, you get a notification, and then you know, for elementary schoolers at least, not the older ones, it's like, oh, come to lunch and see your kids or see their ceremony at eleven fifty two AM and most people can't make it, it's a disaster, you feel terrible. And I don't know, I just think it's sort of not really working out. Like well, I, 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 I agree with you in terms of like um, how it's being represented, but we can all agree these, these, these pillars should be in our school. Yes, absolutely. So Education we, we, we of these pillars, that. yes. Then we'll, now, I will put out to, to the committee that there's um, there's regulation and there's policy. 
And so policy is going to be the, the, the what and then the revisions of the how. So we don't want to get too, even though those are great ideas and we can recommend them in, 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 in our um, advocacy for the policy, we have to make sure we, we stay higher, higher up for the policy and more so, more so the, the, the what. Mm -hmm. And we can recommend in our, in our comments some hows. But that's a great point to bring out. That's when people should hear that, and you know, like, implementation matters. That's going to be more so the superintendent's uh, mm -hmm. role. So if she hears that how, how it has been has been implemented, uh, it's been you, you miss it in most cases, and we can't make it. I have character, but like we be your with the best of our character. You all have character, but the best of our character. Like those two, those, those are key points, you know, and I hear you on that. I live to some of that. We're the we're the team. We kept on work early to get to the, get to the ceremony, and sometimes first person with delivery didn't always go how it should have went. You know, yeah. I, I, I there's guess trying right. happening. Yeah. Yeah. There, there in is. some places, but I would say it's very different across the board. We had a principal like I've got a, a ninth grader and a seventh grader, and my ninth grader, you know, in elementary got they they all had you know recognition every quarter, which was nice, and they would say a specific they would tell a specific thing, you know, like this kid dropped her books, and you know this other kid came over and was like, are you okay, and helped them, and then they got you know, so it was kind of nice to have that. And then the principal just, and we had an amazing principal, but that principal just didn't feel that that was important, so cut the whole entire thing. So we didn't have any after that. And so it, I, there's, it's not consistent throughout, I guess. And I mean, of course, that was a few years ago. Um, but I think it really just depended on the leadership in each particular school, because I think they do have the autonomy to let's have character counts or, you know what, you guys have good character, we're going to do something else. And so I think it's just there isn't it, it, there's not a consistent across the board um, I message. Just, I or apologize, or Sabrina. I've gotten us way off track, and then we were just bringing this back as an example. Yeah. So great sure. example. So this is a great <laughs> example of the discussion yes. once the form is completed regarding making this policy change. So what we're envisioning is two people possibly would look at different policies, and we'll assign policy numbers, and we could possibly look at who is the best point staff person of contact to ask some questions. And I'll work with Dr. Marco in regards to some of that so that we can give you a point of contact for some of this information. And then for you to go do some research, have, you know, talk to constituents, talk to each other, and have this conversation, and then bring it back to the to the committee so that you can present, this is what, care, you know, with character education, you know, we're, we're looking at this request and explain some of the reasoning that you just shared. So that it's not, doesn't appear to be as much education about it, needs to be more focused at all levels. How can it support students going to colleges and help with that and how, and bringing that all together. And then this is where we would have a communication for the whole committee. And then if we all agree to move it forward, that's when Mr. Jay would then we tag him to find two other people, because he would be one of the three, hopefully. And then <laughs> two other people to then move it forward to the policy change. So great conversation. Um, if there is someone that you'd like to work with, if you all want to pair up and come let me know at the end of the meeting so that I'll start putting pairs. But there are five policies that appear to be in our queue for CAC to review. So character education, health education, um, summer school eligibility, copyright law, so if anyone has any skills with that, and waivers of Board of Education policy. Yes. <laughs> Sabrina, can you explain the relationship between those five, yes. however they're generated? Maybe they're just the oldest? They are. Okay. 2009 and 2008, and the policy committee does not. Um, there's a few that policy committee have reviewed recently, 21, 19, these are the oldest. Okay. What's the relationship between those and the prioritized list of things that the committee wanted to investigate, or not investigate, but you know what I mean, focus on, I should say. Yeah, the three topics that we... Yeah, back in December, you know, at that meeting in December, we came up with, you know, big, broad, yes. whiteboard efforts, Although and that was distilled down to about five topics, I think. Yes. yes. Although I do, my thought on this, even though I know we're not focused on character education right now, my thought was, if we can revamp it, we could do some of the digital citizenship. So I see how we can maybe tie in some of our particular items into the policy. So, mm -hmm. um, yes, <laughs> what would you say? So, these policies are, are, are 
So we have to balance what we see in terms of the need. And the need is causing having to touch. But I like the like representative Lauren just said that there is like we are the ones where um we said citizenship, um behavior, bullying, and we had food security, physical safety, and mental health some of the top ones. And so those pieces right now I can see citizenship and safety, um discipline and bullying. And uh, mental health tied into the rules that the parents counts. So I think it becomes where we find our our top areas and put them in the policies where appropriate. I think it becomes a, a redirection like that. Like not every policy we have is going to pull about food security. The like policies that are put the food security are going to be minimal. And it's a big, a big ticket for us. So there are times when that might come up, just like recycling. It depends people are asking for a policy on. Second, food sharing, it's kind of a discussion. I think we'd be fine as I forget, I say growing up, getting where you fit in. So we find where our, our passions move the policy in. Who, who normally reviews policies on a periodic basis? Is it part of FSPS staff the policy, the or the committee does the committee does this? Yes, it's the committee, policy, policy. staff, and the members. And multiple times staff will present at policy committee. In regards to, let's say, the bullying policy, I can pull it up here in a moment. But it's been reviewed recently where staff came and presented about the bullying form and QR, including QR codes and different things, and updated that policy just recently. I believe in 2021, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. so. And then, how many policies are there? A couple dozen? 100? 200? Hundreds. Hundreds. Now, I, I think but, like I policies think, in general, I think number of policies. Yeah. And then the regulations on top of that, right? Yeah. So my, my concern, I mean, maybe you can gather, my concern is this, it sounds like uh, while the CAC would perform an invaluable function in doing this, it sounds to me like uh, we're, we're helping out the policy committee an awful lot. And that's probably a good thing, but I'm not sure that meets the needs of you know, the folks that when I went out, you know, took the pulse of the Frederick area, Frederick High School's, you know, feeder pattern, mm -hmm. um, you know, they weren't too concerned with, for example, the age of the various policies or some of the ones that we might dig into. So they're more concerned with the priorities that we, you know, if, I, if I may. So everything that happens at FCPS, everything that happens. Follow back to a policy. When you hear people speaking, they'll say in relation to policy X, Y, and Z. Our regulation comes from policy. And so also I'll say this: nothing we gather from the community is to be put in the silo. So we do have action, action for we can put forth to the board. If there's a, a pressing concern for community, we put it for the board, we have our ombudsman here. And so there are direct action channels, me being one, Sabrina being one, Marco being one. You've got like three people here who are like, you know, like Pulse readers for the for, for the community, but there are big items we won't they, they won't miss us. Then what happens is those are, are like you know fire that happen when you hear about it, right? And but the thing is, if you want to drive systemic change and make a difference mm -hmm. and, and change how it's done business, that's the policy. And, and, and that's a great totally agree. Mm -hmm. But I guess what I'm getting at is the agenda, the list of policies and regulations that we decide to pursue mm -hmm. with our limited numbers and limited time. Well, we if we're going to go, if, if the driving factor is going to be the age of policies, yeah. and there are hundreds of them, yeah. you know, once we get through these first five, then we're going to get to the batch that was written in 2010, then in 2011, right. then in 2012. I just wonder so if that... By, by no means are you... So when you look at a policy, it has to speak to you. So the policy committee is reviewing policies, and actually been here still a place to review policies. You're kind of coming into the shop, and you're looking for ones that, that, that matter to you. For instance, for sure, the committee, they have policies that matter to them, and they, and they and we choose our, our diversity and our, our equity focus with policies <coughs> that, that matter to them. Like this right here, policy that we care about, so it doesn't speak to our, our community. So we're not limited to those five. You're not limited to. I'm probably looking at the whole beat. It's direction from so the CAC is direction from the board. So I'm there is, back to there, you. There is that. There is that. <laughs> so um, but if there is something again, Mr. J can add an agenda item with two other people for any agenda item. 
So again, if it's something that we feel as a committee is urgent that needs to be discussed, then that's where we can have the discussion to see if it can be added. If it's regarding a change in a policy, you know, could this then let's talk about it and see if it's something that we need to escalate ourselves, just like policy committee escalates. And but again, that's going to be up to the board to make this this decision. And so I'll tell you from you know from, from my, my standpoint, if so the board you now the committee is trust by the board to act. So again, there's that give and take balance. And so that's the point I said, get it when you fit it, because like, kind of like the, the, the board, the council is charged by the board. And trying to receive from the board. Remember, we were, we were, we were, we were on pause for a long time. And I, I, and I advocated directly to the board consistently to get reactivated and go where we've been here. And so the, the activation code we got was we need policies on it. And we went to the community's feedback. And so that's where it's kind of where our trust comes in now. In that, Again, if we have the, the, the items that, 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 that cannot wait to be spoken to, we will speak to it. We're not going to say, we hear this in the community, we hear this, this problem. I will let it pass. Not at all. Okay. So just to clarify, am I, am I correct in understanding that the board's guidance to the CAC is to begin by looking at the oldest policies on the book and review them? I'm, the I'm, not, committee. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we're looking at policy now. Right now, we are getting assistance from Dr. Marco and Sabrina from legal as to where the needs are. If you see a policy that's not the government series, this is, I'm, I'm saying this. If you see one of the not the that you're like, hey, this one right here, and you bring it up, we'll take a look at it. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'll take the shot for that. I'm not tying your hand. Now, I may find out that, hey, we are looking at the, the policy committee. Sorry, sorry, on docket. So you gotta be redundant. Stop. Okay, if that happens, then we'll, we'll pull back. But if you see this under here, it's like, oh wow, this one right here, this right here is the oldest thing. This right here is really happening now. That's I'm fine with that. It's happening on the blueprint. The policies now they aren't the oldest policy, but they, they are they they're, they're, they're need to change through the law. So if you have a suggestion, don't put it back because it's not old. Would it be? Oh, that's okay. I was just saying. I feel like this is more to help us understand the process that we're going through. Absolutely. But I think for future agendas, because I agree, I feel like we kind of. Would like to to see some. I feel like we've got some good momentum going, mm -hmm. and but I think we also have passion. Yes. And I wonder, and I think we're starting with getting some speakers from from Frederick County, and so that's really helpful. But I wonder, would it be possible to look at? Because I think Sabrina was going to show us too how we can find the policies that maybe we could like at the next meeting pull all the policy. I don't know how many that would be on like digital citizenship or like cyberbullying. And like have a chance to then look at those and kind of speak to it at the next meeting. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to think of like how we can. Yeah, and, and that's what I think it was the subcommittee came down to, like sort of looking at things. I'm not again. I, I might, I might, I might correct on this one. If it is, a, I, I'll come back and tell you. Make me help But if you have a, a, a policy that you think you should look at, you can bring it up. And the worst we can say is like, you know, here's why we can't look at that. So I, again, I, I, I'm following to bring it back to the committee and suggesting we do. At our next meeting, we do have a speaker of security coming okay. to speak to us <coughs> in that meeting. So um, in May, in May is our next meeting. So we do have that. And again, they'll be reviewing their policy that is related to security and, the, and their process. <coughs> and okay. So again, if we have questions, that would be the perfect time to address some of those questions or concerns regarding the security concerns. And that is because you have all asked for security. And right. You to, so we, we are moving on what you asked for. No, you are. I think we're just trying to make sure we're understanding. I think here in the copy, like we're doing a copywriting policy, which doesn't seem to fit right. what it, you know, we came here for. So maybe a compromise would be like listen. if there's a list of five policies right now that are on from the board and legal. Can we vote on each one to either do that one or not do that one? So I'm, I'm going to read one thing right here before we go forward. Go ahead, maybe you should reach out too. This is weird. All right, so the policy committee reports to, reports to the board and serve as a channel for public concerns, advice, and information as identified by the board. 
as if the, the board gives direction. So you did come on board for, for that. Yeah, and no, so, I understand, but it's not, it, again, it wasn't. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, that's literally what has happened to um, this, this, this council in years past. When I came on the board, this council wasn't, wasn't, wasn't here, and it hadn't been here in years. And so they asked from the committee what committee I wanted to do. I'm going to go ahead, I like challenges. I like seeing this community served. So I said, I'll get the one that, that, that's dead in the water. Nobody's touching it. It doesn't exist. I'll get that one. The workers were graciously supported me on this one. And he has been supported as well. And he told me one reason that happens is there's a misconnect between what community actually does and what it sounds like it does. And so you are a mouthpiece directly to the board. You are. You do get your voices heard to the board directly. You do. Do, you do, you do. Same time, though, there's a work that the board has for you. And this is the work that the board has for you. And, I, and I'll tell you right now, I'm very grateful to the, the board president because our previous board, the, the new the board now has worked for us. The previous board, honestly, people, I was in the meetings and I felt like they didn't have anything for me. You can't even have that in the previous meetings. <clears throat> but the, what we have now has more work for us. It has, it has a need that it needs to do. And we have a charge from the board. This community hasn't had in a long time. So I, I, I'm highly honored. And, and, I'm excited about the work. Um, and again, I will I will encourage you. It sounds like drawing work. It is it is the work. Most of my work up there is is telling a policy pass or change. That's what drives the drives the whole county by policy. So you are involved in the work. Next thing, one thing, one thing next to one thing higher than this right here is being in the with the kids. You know, like doing some like this is the kids and the policy. Those, those are those are big, big things. Everything's big. Food is big. Buses are big. This is big too. <laughs> and again, if we start with some of these policies, I think that'll give us a good practice. That if you want to bring something else up, that again we would have the skill set to be able to understand what that process looks like and what steps are needed to move forward. At this point, this is the charge from the board to look at these policies. Some of them are very small policies. Let me pull up. I mean, it's maybe a paragraph. For one of them um, that I looked at. So, summer school eligibility, I think, was a very small, small policy. Sure. So, there are 516. Hmm? Um, so, it's not going to take us a long time to make some recommendations and changes. Again, it's changing the format and looking at those houses. So, these are some of the things that it's I don't think it's going to take us a long time to complete this work, but it is work that we could have. And I'll encourage the, 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 the committee. Um, just one second, there's a question for our allergy question, the second one. Before, I, I, what are we doing? And, like, you know, if you look at the every every meeting here, we have here review community feedback, feedback from the council. So every every meeting, I'll look for what you got from the community. The community. There's, our big logo is the voice. I want to hear from you. And if you got some suggestions, we have to change. Right now, we hear from the comment. That's where we hear a lot of the community comes out. Those are really big ticket item firebrands. But like, maybe something that we've missed. That's kind of what I'm hoping we, we can do in, in, in the process. Like, part of our, our work is to get feedback from the community. If you have that, I have a special for every meeting. We have a, we can do this, all of them done. So we, are, and, and I want to take action from you. So I, I I do not want you to be confused saying like oh this is only about doing policies. I can't even get the my voice heard. What the heck? It's just trash. Not at all. We want your voices heard. And so I I I mean that greatly. But the, the thing is, we get the benefit of not having our voices heard, having the voices you hear implemented. We went through. We, remember we did all the whole list. We put it down to what was high high priority. We did that whole uh, whiteboard and drove. drove Pulled it all out. We have those here. That's driving our meetings we have coming up. It is driving the policies and how we look at policy. So not only do you get your voices heard, the voices get implemented. And honestly, I, 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 I tell you, that's, that's very powerful. For instance, um, this, um, Candace spoke before about how I fought really hard to get the phrase kindness put in the policy for hiring. It seems simple, it's small, but now we hire someone. They're at their, their, their caring composure and kindness is the part of the hiring process. So now your kids should be here by having a mean teacher. 
That's why I fought so hard for that word. So it makes a big difference. Before, apathetic, rude, but really talented might sneak past. Now I can't. So I fought for the word kindness to put in there. So I'm telling you, it's a big, big deal. I don't think any of us disagree that that is not clearly the way to influence things, right? It's through policy and regulation. We get that. I think there's, as you're maybe sensing, there's some uh, frustration, perhaps, maybe even confusion on the part of some of us that sounds like our work in December, frankly, might have been a waste of time. Because, because yes, because okay. if we're going to be reviewing, if we're going to be taking the load of the policy committee's work of reviewing policies, beginning with those that are oldest, and then continuing up along the timeline, it sounds to me. Um, I question what's the point of our priority list? I mean, I you make a good point saying we can inject those things, those priorities now, into whatever we are tasked to review. But I also wonder, when did the board task us to do this with these older policies? And why has it taken us 10 months to get to this point? If this was the board's direction, that we want the CAC to review the backlog of policies for FCPS, beginning with those that are oldest, that could have been conveyed at the first meeting in May last year. And yet- Well, that was a different board though. And I think that's what okay, we're doing. Fair enough. Yeah. But then, I think they gave us, because I think the, the board, the previous board tasked us with looking at the, um, what was it called before the blueprint? <laughs> Sorry, like the standard, like we had the yeah. law. Thank you. So they tasked us with that, which was very broad in general. And I think that's part of why we went on hiatus. And now I think the board's giving us more, but I hear you. I'm just hoping we can coincide both because I feel like we have also set, wanted more direction from the board. I think they're giving it to us. And then in the meantime, we've also kind of come up with our focus areas. Fair enough. But, uh... I know there were some of us, I know I asked that question back in yeah. December. Is there guidance from the new board about what this committee, this council is intended to do? This, this, so this, so we're getting that now, is that correct? We, and we've had that. So okay. uh, we, we, we convened that the charge has been looking at policy. That's the, that, 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 that was what got us to get activated. But like I mentioned before, there was, there was a, so the board consisted before, and we, we, I, we pushed it through. The board is going to happen. It got back, it got back on the books. And when we got to the, to the, um, when we stood up, I would ask the board for direction. And I kind of got, okay, well, so I took it from the heart of the committee there. I'll go to get feedback and take it back to the board about big ticket items, about what's working well, what's not working, what can we improve? Remember, remember those questions? It's just, I think it's still, it's still in, 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 our, in our mantra somewhere. That, it came from me because it was like they were literally from the board. So I asked them, like, how about this at a board meeting? They said, okay. Because that came from me advocating for this committee. And they were like, okay, we can do it. We can do that. So great, thank you. That's something we can, we can work with. I wrote right back to you. And then we had some, some traction on that, some, some, some small work with that one. Then we, um, we the board said, you know what? Uh, we had admin changes. They were like, your committee should be on pause. I said, well, yeah, pause. Okay. And I said, well, what can we come back? What can we come back? And it was like, it was a, it was a, a lot of um, part of the board at the time was like, you know what? There's a new board coming. Most of us are leaving. Let them give you a few bunch of words. I'll talk to you later on. Like, come on, please. So then I have to hear some more. I have to hear some more. And we got a new, a new board. I said, okay, you know what? We like you guys look at this right here. Can you do that for us? I said, we'd love to. I, I, I took all your words for you and said, yes. I said, they would. They would love to. Because we, we had no charge. They have a charge now. So I brought it back to you. And you said, okay, what do you want to look at? Now, here's the thing. We have committees that actually do function in more than one thing. He said, we're, we're charged to. We're charged to do, do the advice, feedback, and direction. And so when we look at other things like the, um, what's your committee? They have advocated and they have um, sponsored policy changes in SCBS. They also have a um, a committee that they, 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 they found out called SOCA, Susan Color Alliance. They actually went to a, um, a, a meeting with the mm -hmm. county, a retreat this county this um, weekend. 
So that Susan Carter lines that they stood up, that the council that they stood up was apart from their direction looking at policy. We can do more than one thing, but like our we, we have a lane from the board, but we, that's just our direction. That's what we have is a bison feedback. So I'm, I'm talking right now about our direction, which is policy, but we still have a bison feedback we can do. So we have a passion idea that we can look at as a, as, a, as, a, as a council, we can bring it to the board. So you're not you're not siloed into one job. Uh, uh, well, I'll pull this show us so that we can kind of coincide with both how we could look up on our own like policies that we might want to bring this okay, in our reports, yes. And then again, I, I, I'll say to you, um, if you see a policy that while, while you're looking at the policy, we're we'll being asked to look at. If you see a policy, or you give me the whole, it's all for the public. You see all the policies. You see when that rings, ding, 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 ding. Hey, we had something on our list about um, mental health. And I see a place where it really co coincides right here. It's policy 285. And it's policy actually has a little review. Bring it up to us. We'll discuss it. So, on the main FDCS page, we have tabs on the top, either the board of policy and regulations. So, I just click on policies. This shows all of them, so it shows off. So it shows the policies and the regulations. And we have six pages for policies and regulations. There is a search field where you can type in mental which shows regulations. So anything with a dash is a regulation. So it's an easy way to think about it. So this is an instead of regulation here. And it shows also two policies that have the word mental health with them that are coming up But this shows all the things that have mental health somewhere with them. And you can click on go to the top full more like safety. Now it does not highlight mental health. And you would have to do I do uh, control F. And then you can type again. And then click through each time, we'll show you where it's going to come up. So that's one way to do this. You can see what it was reviewed in 2017 and 2019, and that was the last time it was reviewed. But again, if there's something that's seen within this, especially if we're having a communication from security coming next week, if you wanted to look at this in advance and possibly ask some specific questions regarding school or school workplace safety, then that's something that we can address and again raise awareness if need be, or expand on that, and we can possibly utilize our form if everyone agrees to make a possible change to a policy. I thought when policy was first charged to us, this was a homework assignment for us to go look at all the policies oh, that, that, that and come back, started. and that's sort of how we got started with our list. So that I feel like we're circling here. No, this, this, that, that homework was to take a look at. Homework survey. Like take a look at, it. and now we're actually showing you how to how, how we're going to make change together. So this is this, this is putting putting action behind it, like where you might show a video and introduce something. You know, then you actually you know, teach the lesson and, and, and put it in action. We're like one step away from the activity. Go forth and, and conquer. So, and I will make one small note. If you see something like Title Nine, a big ticket item, uh, tell anything in Title Nine or like um, uh, be mindful of things that have state law or federal law. But most most of us like to do very little wiggle room on those policies. Um, but be mindful of new uh, things like federal or state law. Those will be, we can maybe make a small change in there, but it'll be small because we have to adhere to uh, Maryland and federal state federal law. Um, like policy 510, copyright law. Because law is law. Right. What I'm hearing is that we want to look at some other some opportunities for understanding some other things that are 
they pointed out for the design need, along with, again, directions from the board was to review five policies within the five hundred. So if you would like to, um, again, pair up with a partner and share name, or we can randomly work, have you assign together, whatever you want to do, and then we'll, you can pick what the policy is. So then we'll work through this form before the next meeting in May. Before the next meeting in May. So you meet together, you repair, and then talk about some things, hopefully complete the form, and then we'll talk about having this presentation in May for each subgroup, for how many we can get through. Again, there may be something really small, or the character education may be a larger one. So wait, did you say any five in the 500 series, or you're going to give us a list? We'll give you a well, There are five that the policy uh, or that have been charged to us. Mm -hmm. So I will pick who gives you the Okay, just to clarify. Thank you. So you had said I'm not a lot, but we, sorry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, I missed one. You guys had said the character education, health education, summer school eligibility, copyright laws, and then there was a fifth one that I missed that you, that were named, right? There's a board policy. That was the one. What is the date in May for the next meeting? Eight is May 8th. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Um, character education, health education, summer school eligibility, copyright laws, and um, William said waivers of board uh, policy. policy. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I have a quick question. <laughs> How do we review these policy cards? Will the suggestions taken, and I'm just going to ask the question, they can be taken seriously in reference to actually do that. The reason I ask this question is because, as you said, we want to review them for the board to help them update the policies. Mm -hmm. When you see some of those policies potentially that are, that should be disqualified, I'll put it that way, uh, our suggestion may be. This while so I list because it's not relevant at this point. It's not relevant in the way the school board is, you know, handling academics or, or the care or the hiring or whatever. Um, if we give a suggestion to disqualify or re energize this uh, policy, when will we find out whether it's been implemented? Or you understand how will we know if so those suggestions are I'll just come back to Sabrina's hand up. So after the, the, uh, the, the uh, policy change that we as a committee agree on, it comes to me, then I have to go workshop it. I so, have to get two, two, two people to agree on it. So that's right. That's, that's where it's real. Once, once I can get two people to, to agree on it, there's a policy. And from there, the policy will we're going to look at it and take it on and bring it to the board. And you'll get to see if it gets implemented in real time. The reason I'm asking this question is because you understand, going through these policies, they need the policy. There's only time to They have time constraints at home. Yo, okay. So in doing so, and then finding relevance or lack thereof in some of these policies, doing the due diligence to find that, and then providing it to you, and they still don't action. So you have to use a guarantee that, 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 that a policy will change because we made recommendations. There's no guarantee. However, I can tell you through the many, many policies that I approved, um, I'm sure. <laughs> the committee that uh, timely updates and changes have a real good, strong, strong chance to um, update. A lot of policies that I, I approve are just basically like wording changes. Like we're gonna put the word, you know, these instead of those. You know, like that happens a lot. There, 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 there are a lot of times where it's basically there, there are copyright changes or just like you know, um, you said before you mentioned like um, becoming um, what's the word for. Uh, like uh they become like no longer <laughs> thank you. Literally he's going like you know, like a pay phone like this, not there anymore. So this is a we know we're gonna use, we're gonna add this in here. Like which before I'm gonna mention on social media. It's not it's an older policy, so we actually social media in there. So a lot of times those, those changes are, are welcome. So and let me just clarify that when we take it when Mr. J, if it gets to policy three, if we get the three people to agree, when it gets to policy committee, that's when again if you all want to advocate a policy committee, you can do that to talk, but they'll have a discussion 
and that's when we'll know whether they're adding more, approving it, looking at different things, and there'll be staff possibly there to discuss in more detail, because we may not know all the ins and outs, but right. staff would. And that's where it would be provided to policy committee to make a decision and have that discussion to decide what to do from there. But we would share information when that will happen on any policy recommendation that is submitted so that you all stay updated and are aware of what has happened. Policy committee meetings are recorded just like our meetings are recorded. So even if you can attend at that time, you can watch it at a later time. Because the reason I'm asking is because relevance of what you're putting that thought process into it, you're putting that work into it, and you made considerable adjustments and changes potentially to a policy, then it's just having a sense of going off. It's dead work. So you don't want to have dead work. You want to make sure that whatever is being done here has impact. Because I'm going to be honest with you, and we've had this conversation. We're not moving. I'm not moving. I want to move forward, and I want to do my best to make sure that all your time and your energy is used to move forward. So the scenario is this. The board is a growth process, and it's a change agent. And if we're going to use it for that, and it's purpose, correct? State. The due diligence, the hard work, the effort that's put into reviewing these policies, if that's what they want us to do, believe me, I'll read until I... 103, 103, like direction, feedback, advice. There you go. So, so, we, we, so if, if direction, feedback, and advice, and I have it, it's provided, mm -hmm. and it's relevant, and it's coherent, and it's sound, mm -hmm. and it should be actionable, they choose not to do anything with it, that's, that's dead work. Remind them, the board, they have the power, they have the authority, that you have an element here that is focused on giving you solid, actionable work to engage. Please respect that and look into it and don't just discard it. I don't think they will, and I can tell you, since we've been asked to do it, there's probably already some leaning, looking to see what we get back. And but then I'll also caution you and encourage you. Um, you say you go out of hard work in, you advocate for it, and it doesn't go anywhere. That is a small taste of what I'd be a board member. Because this is what I've advocated for, put work into, years into. And the board just goes, nah. I have to sit there and go, yeah. So it, it, it happens. It happens to me most meetings. So I think Mr. Jason have a real opportunity when he gives his CAC at the board to see this conversation. Citizen Advisory Council has identified these policies to unpack, review, evaluate. They're concerned that this work may not gain traction with the board and emphasize the importance that this is hard work, this is a heavy lift, and this needs to have traction right. with the board. And, and I think he has the, the, the perfect avenue to, to share that with the board public. That we had this conversation. That this is hard work. It's important work, and it needs to be taken seriously. If there's staff at FCPS whose job description is to review policy, would it be something to consider us reviewing for community heartbeat? What they do first, so send those five to the staff who is FCPS employees to do, put it in the format and, you know, get the resources and the research and things like that. And then we review that for, with the community eye, feedback, pulse, however you want to talk about it. As that, is that? Lisa, you just identified one of the reasons we're here, where we are in terms of policy review. That are, is a person of one. That's Jamie Cam. She is responsible for, for moving forward all the policies. Now, what Jamie does is, if she gets into, let's say, copyright law, she's going to bring in the supervisor of community specialist, most likely, as a companion. But part of the problem you just named is there is one person that's responsible for moving all these policies or for revision and. That's a big under, undertaking for one person who, by the way, is responsible for all the legal activity in the school system. So I would envision your work is, let's say, you do get into copyright laws, that 
you still have the time to meet with Barry Joe Richmond, who has oversight and input into contrary laws, and that would help develop what you move forward to the board. So you, in essence, would be assuming a role of, of chief legal counsel by looking and evaluating and assessing and bringing in the experts to move forward. Does that make sense? It does, but to me, it sounds like there's a staff issue. And again, we're looking at the intent. <laughs> we're not looking at specific wording. The specific wording has to come from legal counsel. And so we're, our job is not to write the words out, but to talk about, okay, in character education, I think we need definitions for possibly what is trustworthiness mean? You know, what's the actual definition? What's it for respect? And on, and then the same thing on the opposite side for, you know, what are the pillars that we should be looking at for life and career skill development? Not the specific definite. We're not writing the definition. We're not doing all that. That's where staff partners with legal, and the, that's where racial equity had this problem. They presented a 20-page um, policy with definitions and all that laid out in the proper format. But that's not what legal is looking for. They're looking for the intent. The top. What are we missing? Confusion. Right. So like, for instance, like right now, uh, we have bringing on device policy. So there's, so there's something lacking about bringing on device in school as well as the public counts. Um, there's things like, you know, we have much about why Wi Fi is a new thing at this time. I hope I said my Wi Fi in there. Things like, you know, technology. So, infusion. So I think I mentioned that because it's a 20 page paper write out is that what we're looking for. for this, you're, you're not a little counselor. And, you know, you're not going to kill it either. You're, you're, you're volunteering your time, your gracious time for the community, to the school. So it's going to be infusion. We're looking for the, the, the stone that had been unturned. Do you guys consider X, Y, and Z? This right here is a, a, a common place. Oh, we didn't. That's the process. They have that initial. We're looking for the irrelevancy, the, the community feedback, the relevancy, the infusion. What's missing? The process is going to do They're going to be bone dry and, and, and sound legally, but they're missing things. So we're looking for those that they are missing. So to clarify, we use the character ed as just an example, not so much to talk about character ed, but <laughs> to understand what it is that the that we're looking for to do. So if we were working on the character ed policy, we would fill out this form and we would, under explanation of request, we would share any concerns that we have, any possible edits, like if we wanted to add something about digital citizenship under responsibility. We would write all of that up, then maybe give some support for why it's needed right. from like other county policies or things like that. Or even cross referencing our own policies. Okay. And uh, so I did one this in my 20 months. I went to an uh, audition once when I was a kid. And the guy they said, Don't worry about your hair. If you get selected, it won't be the same thing. Anymore. And so, the same thing about, about the wording. So, get your intent in there. If it was accepted, the wording will change anyway. Legal is one of the right words in there if you have a fit legal. So don't focus on so the words. We don't so much. need to make it look nice. We mm -hmm. just need to say what we're doing. You need to be cool, 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 so would it make sense since the board had said they want us to look at these five they want you guys said we need to be in pairs would it make sense to now take three minutes make pairs Tell everyone who they are, so Sabrina, you can tell us what we need to be looking at before the next meeting. That would make a lot of sense. But actually, right now, I'm saying right now, as a, as a, late. All right. as a, as a point of, yeah, point of, point of uh, <laughs> order, we're not going to make it to um, our full discussion for the bylaws. I don't know if we, we should start this way. This, this is a needful thing, our, our action piece, but we're going to show our bylaws, and I don't see us hitting that. So I think we're going to have that. I recommend some of the motions to table that. There was, there, there. Anybody want motion to table that? I can't motion. I'm not, I'm not voting members. So. I moved to table that conversation for the next meeting. Second. All in favor? Any opposed? Sorry, I 
discuss it in May. So yeah, we'll be delaying. But that won't yeah. stop us from being able to move forward like if we're no, you can still come back and, and, and bring our thoughts and we still vote. We're still, we're still okay. voting for the body. We just, you know. I just didn't know if our bylaw update had to like, be done by a certain time. No, uh, it, we're, we're, we're driving that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so, so, how do you think you're. Yeah, if we want to look at you, do you want to talk about Paris and South America? If you want to look at this screen, do you think it would be the best kind of contact? Okay. Mr. Jason, uh, Ms. Raven, yes. I'd like to volunteer to uh, review the copyright policy subcommittee that will review that, and then as soon as that's done, the subcommittee would turn to student discipline. I would like to work with John on that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sabrina, Will, and I will work together. Um, we don't have a draft on and I'm just writing that too. I would like to uh, work on either the health education or character education. Do we have Are you taking anything? I, I, I was, I'm just that, I'm trying really hard. Does see the possible problems? Can you pull the problems up so you can see it? Where am I? Can you go? Can you go? This is an Oh, so just said the other thing. I didn't, wasn't done writing fast enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd like just, to either work on character or health. So I just want to see the look at the right. diversity right. of folks and the, the, the awards we're still looking at. Um, <laughs> Lauren, we'll take whichever of those you don't take. Okay. So if you take character or health, Will and I will take the other one. Okay. Look at the 500 series. Look at the 500 series. We could have it left up to where see it. We have it up here on the screen. So Lauren, do you want to pick which one you want the most? Um, I'm sorry. Um, you guys have a preference? I can't. It's your turn. What do you want? want? <laughs> this is characters in front of me. I'll do characters. Okay, so then we'll do health. Okay. Education. And you're going to do character. And you have a partner. So, Sabrina, I'm writing them all here if you want. Yes. That's okay. possible. I'm going to join Lauren. All right, so Lauren and Lisa. <coughs> all right, probably use another if they want. John, you said you were doing copyright and then. Then moving on swiftly to student discipline policy. So someone still needs to take the board po waiver of board policy. And that one is actually two sentences. Anybody with John? Anybody with John? And that one what? It's actually two sentences. Okay. It's very, very small. I'm just saying. I love so let's that. do What about the sum? Well, I'll, I'll, take I'll take that one to some student. Oh, there we go. So we're gathering your staff. What's the context? You know, there's a little resource here. But... So I think Lisa and I are saying we'll do, since you guys are going to discipline, we were thinking if we did character ad, maybe we can start just exploring some like cyberbullying, the digital citizenship policy. So we might want to bring for it. Yeah, so I, 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 again, I'll take the make up if I'm on here, and, I, and I'll probably hear about it later on behind us, and I see, but I, I'll say to you all, if you're looking at these, if it does pop up to your attention, like, this is, this is relevant. Bring it forward, and we'll, we'll talk about it now. Okay. Are you yeah, going to send this form digitally, yeah. please? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have it in a Word document. I will send it to everyone digitally. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to need these groups yeah. and what they're doing now. I have it on the bottom. I will, yes. That's, so, what will happen next? Um, we have staff that would be best point of, of contact for the policy. So, let me, um, I can give you names and then if you want to search, or I can, again, I'll send all this out directly to you, but just so that you know. So, for character education, the person, I don't know who's the group, character, okay, character education, the primary point of contact would be Janet Shipman. S H I P M A N. She is a supervisor. And if you have difficulties getting hold of him, work through me. And I'll okay. Get it. M I N or M A N? M A N. Okay. For health education, um, it would be Brian Griffith and Jamie Hitchman. Griffith? Yes. Yeah, I T H 
For summer school eligibility. Oh, um, Jen Bigman. That's um, don't school. Okay, so we'll wait. Um, copyright is Mary Jo Richmond. Mary Jo Richmond and Michelle. I think it's Legal. I'll give you the name for Michelle. Sorry, that was Michelle. Sorry. Michelle and Legal Services. Um, Doc. Yeah, I don't have it. I'll have to correct it. Okay. Um, waivers on the uh, for the board of education policy would be done. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the uh, the, yeah, the waiver and the policy and also the summer school. Okay. Perfect. And I'll send you the names of the point of contact, and then this one that's all five, I believe. In all five days. So I'll send you the policy, the policy form and word, and the point of contact for staff. And then you all meet on your own, and then presentations will start. If we're talking about bylaws at the next meeting and we're having a presentation from security, we will probably be doing that in June. You know, we'll, be, we'll start coming back as subgroups to present. So June, we could possibly have someone um, come to speak to us from public affairs about social media, or we could just put it on the subgroups and then talk about social media when we reconvene at the beginning of the school year. Do we pause it in July and August or, or July? We do not have scheduled meetings in July and August. And nothing in April. And nothing in April. So we have May and June left of the school year. We also have to talk about um, elections. So that would probably be at the June meeting. For our committee. For the next week. For the next week. So the next meeting will be focused on social media. No, bylaws and security presentation. And that's the staff. Scott and Paul. Scott and Paul. Can we say maybe those means are an hour and a half? I mean, I know that's not popular. But. <laughs> well, the question would you, when staff is presenting, I know, I can people make it earlier? Because that may allow us a little more leeway on the end. But again, for staff also, it's easier that if they can if they can start at 6 or 6 30. If not, I, I'd be comfortable presenting virtually. Or we can postpone that also. Are you, it's, I, think, I feel like that was a priority from our discussion in December. So I think like like how early, like at 6.30, instead of 7, or even earlier than that. That means it's just going to go. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather have, if it, it's not there for is it virtual, it, 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 it just, it's just, it's just, we could do, they could present virtually if we want to keep it at 7. Seven. Or they could be here. I don't having know. Having a longer day in the office. If they, if they can't be here, I guess we asked them. They can't be here. <coughs> they know right now the means at seven. I just said we had talked about it previously about changing the time. So I didn't know if that was something that they came up with everything they had. Kind of people had conflicts <laughs> because the, the schedule was changed prior so that once the meeting would be days at nine six years so that the board members could leave or something to their place. Okay. So we're leaving at seven. Our, is, and again I'm hearing that you all would like to make the next meeting until 8 30 or start earlier i just i think we have a lot to do and i think what i'm hearing is that we all want to really feel productive and i think we need to these are conversations that need to be had we want to hear the presentations we want to move forward too but i think the reality is especially if we only have two more meetings that we might need to look at an hour and a half so I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the hotel. I'm going to have to go to the h
Just oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not get, get criticizing top, anybody for leaving, but just to make sure we're all on the same page yeah. for. So, so I think um, I think it's important that we have, um, if, if you have a community you have to rush off to, I support you in the hip hop to take it down. Oh, sure, of course. Like, yeah, no, I'm just there. saying, <clears throat> okay. I didn't yeah. know if the, it was an hour long meeting or, yeah. So it, it, we, we had an agreed hour and a half from the prior so it's seven eight thirty was our time frame. Yeah. And then we had we had conference meeting. We couldn't make any earlier than seven. So again, if staff can't make that time frame, mm -hmm. I yeah, I I I sign off on that. Um so for our next meeting, I just want to get get the post of the group and so I have it have it right right in my head. Well I'm, I'm hearing now that we have a security petition, security. Uh, we have um was it bylaws? Bylaws, and then so that those two are pretty beefy right there. Um, Just by the half hour presentation and session. Yeah. So then, I don't know if we can do something to report out at the same meeting. So that'll be June. Okay. Do June. So election and in June. Election. Elections and then something. Okay. okay. So we got. What is the June meeting too? Just to. Is that soon, that I think is a. June 12th. Yeah, Thank you. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> so it was May 8th and the June 12th. Is that May 8th? May 8th and June 12th. There it is. Do you want me to know both? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you're doing the minutes now. You're the new secretary. You can elect oh, no. I've run out of room, so we have to either slow down or stop talking. So. <laughs> That's what happened to me, too. Don't move I have a question. Can I ask you a question about not about anything you talked about tonight? Yeah, we under, uh, our, uh, okay. The next part, the yeah. reviewing questions, because we received an invitation from our middle and elementary PTA mm -hmm. to either come speak at a meeting or and or have them put something about us in the newsletter that goes out to the community. Wanted to touch base with you because I don't, like we just so got the logo, they, so our PTA, they, they, they want us to come to a meeting and basically tell the Middletown, it's the elementary PTA, sure. so K, pre-K through five, tell them who we are, what we're doing, sure. and they want to put something also in their newsletter. I know we have our thing. I don't know if that thing's been like, and I don't know if we have a contact email. So like, they want to be able to tell our community that we exist, sure. and they want sure. to do that sooner than later. I would ask you to put that on that thing. Okay. We can totally do that. Okay. okay. Yeah. And we already did it. It's pretty rich, actually. It's okay. when we were surveying and getting information. I kind of just, I mean, I'm already a member. So you, guys, said, you guys literally are liaisons to your community. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. I just want to make sure, like, we have, because they want to put something in the news that we can use. That, yeah, just, that just we hold, have hold an email here. that we can, that they can put in there. Yep. And, okay. You just pull right up. It's like, okay. And then we have to know that the power has a logo. Right. So I was waiting for it. I told the PTA president to hold on like <laughs> one more month. And yeah. so, okay. Power of a logo. I, we just think that we're making it round. No, point. I like it. I square think the square offsets the roundness of mm -hmm. the. Okay, true. Good point. Good point. Oh, yeah, we have an awesome logo. So, there's a logo in there. Like it. Yeah. Um, so, any other uh, burning thoughts for the order? Because we have uh, yeah. six minutes on, on our agreed upon time. Actually, I, I didn't know we actually had eight on our uh, website. So, actually, we took it half yeah. an hour ago. But we had, we had agreed to committee for 8 30 a little while back. So, yeah, right I now we have eight on here. So, I, I, I'll have them put um, 8 30 on, on the May 8th. I'll leave us to our eight o'clock posting time on the 12th of June. Um, then we're going to go by the day in June, which is our stop and so it should be fine. So, um, all hearts and minds are clear. Can I ask, you said the policy committee meets at 10 a.m., like what day of the week? Like, is oh, there a rotating meeting? Oh, we have to go to the um, board uh, meetings. They'll be there okay. on um, board docs, and that has that date. Policy committee. The next meeting, so they meet at 9 30 
in the boardroom right here. Like um, once a month or I mean, I'm not once a month, month, maybe the second Wednesday of the month. Um, so the next one coming up is April 26th, May 17th. Um, and then again, they'll reset for the remainder of the school year. But normally it's the second Wednesday of the month. When there's a board meeting on that Wednesday, it's the same Wednesday. If for some reason there is no board meeting on that Wednesday, then there is not a policy committee. So if there's a conflict with like December, things like that, so they skip a few months. Not committee is so gracious. <laughs> we'll meet the same day on the day of meeting. Yes. Day so and so they have the scheduled 9:30 to 11:30. It would last that full amount of time. <laughs> and again, they're all recorded, so you can go back and watch. So if there's a if there's a policy that you're interested in that they have already discussed previously, it may be good to go back and look at the discussion in regards to that policy to see what was talked about previously. They have um, minutes for all the policy meetings, maybe not recording. So you can go back to the 2009 meeting when the policy was first added or reviewed and at least read the minutes. Or again, if it's a more current one, you can look and watch the video to see about that policy. Thank you. We appreciate the presentation. So, so. Thank you all for your advocacy. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for being part of our visit. It's going to be good work. It's going to be good work. Um, and your work will, will be last. So thank you for doing this. Um, as our, our time, we're here. Yeah, I was going to go. Yeah, so uh, we are uh, adjourned. We're adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you.